Hi Dry Sir Kitties, Wayne here. Today we're going to draw Minion Bob with puppy dog eyes. So let's get started. To draw super cute Bob, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and try my best to draw a really big circle. But if you're more comfortable using a template, definitely do that. Find something around your house that you can use. I'm just going to try my best to draw a big circle. And then now that I have that, I'm going to come right across and so say about right here, right across. And we're going to draw another one. And since I'm drawing pretty big, I'm just going to drag some points across I know to make sure my circle is going correctly. About the same size on the other side. Right here. And here. And connect. Second circle is always the hardest. Okay, so now I have my two circles in. Let's go, let's see here. Let's go to the center of these two circles, say about right here, and we're going to draw the rim of these goggles. So I'm just gonna come up and follow my circle all the way around. And I'm gonna come right back to right here, right in the center. and connect. So let's do the same thing on the other side. So if you're doing it freehand like I am, definitely use a pencil if you can so you can make any adjustments you need. Okay, finally the hardest part is done. I have these two big circles in and then I'm going to come to the sides right here in the center area and I'm going to come right here and pop out a line and then come down and in and then the center line right here. So let's do the same thing on the other side. So this is just a hinge on our goggle and here. So just like the other side, come straight down and in and in the center draw another line. So now we're going to make this super cute and let's work on this eye first. So about this top area, about right here, I'm going to go ahead and just draw this very soft curve that goes across. Then from there I'm going to come in here and draw a circle. So pretend you're just drawing another circle inside. So just get, leave a little bit of space because we want them nice and big puppy dog eyes, right? The bigger, the cuter. So I'm just going to go ahead and follow the outside of my circle to draw this inner circle. So then now that I have that, we're going to come about right here and draw a circle, a really big one for a big highlight right on the edge. Then I'm going to come right across by right here and draw a smaller one on this corner. Then we're going to come in and draw another circle. So we're just following our outside. Hopefully it's not too complicated. It all makes sense. So I'm going to come in here and shade this all in so you can see a little bit better. And when you're coloring, this is where the color of Bob's eyes are going to be. So let's do the same thing on the other side. So once again, I'm just going to draw a soft curve right across downwards. And let's do the same thing. So just go ahead and quickly do that. So our highlight's going to be on this side, one big one, and a smaller one.
Now that we're done with the eyes, let's go ahead and give uh, Bob here a little pout. So right underneath, or you can give him a smile, but I think the pout is a little bit cuter. So right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a curve that comes down. Oh, <laughs> how can you say no to that, right? And then let's see here. Let's draw the top of Bob's head. So right here at the top, the goggles. I'm just gonna go ahead. We're going to draw a curve that comes across. So this is the top of his head that barely pops out. Nice even curve at the top. And then let's come back to this hinge area and we're gonna bring it down with a straight line. So we're gonna to start to draw Bob's body. And let's bring this down a little bit more. And I'll see about right where his mouth is. I'll stop about here. And same thing here. So just make sure I'm nice and even on both sides. From there, I'm gonna to start to draw the straps on his um, overalls. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and come down with a curve. And let's work on this side first. I'm gonna pop this out. Let's make a little strap and bring this down to say about right here. And we're just gonna finish off this strap and bring it in. And then there's a button right here. So just draw a circle. So same thing over here. And I'm just gonna aim. So about right. And say about right here. And once again, thicken your strap. And connect. And then a circle. Now that I have these two straps in, I'm going to come right back here and we're going to start to draw the arms coming together towards the center. So let's come right here and I'm going to draw a curve. So this is a little bit tricky, so just Play around with it, your positioning. We're just gonna go back and forth. So we just kind of try to make it even on both sides so that we can end up in the center. So I'll just draw these two curves first, right there. And I'm gonna come right here and thicken the arm. So just curve up. And here as well. And curve up. Okay, I know it looks really weird right now, but we just want to end up in the center part. So I'm going to draw angle line, an angle line, and let's see here. We're going to have to go backwards a little bit. So find our center. So about right here, I'm going to go up. So this is his glove, and then we're going to pop this out and go up right in the center. We're going to draw this straight line and curve. So I know this is a little bit tricky, but you just want to imagine the gloves are right here. We have this straight line in the center, and then I'm going to curve a little bit and then just bring it in. So I'm totally simplifying it. I'm just gonna put that and then same thing over here. Curve, we want to reach this, so right there, whatever it takes to <laughs> reach that area. Might be off a little bit, but it's okay. And then curve and connect. Yay. So Bob is like, please, <laughs> right? Okay, so we have the two hands in, yay. So our goal is just to try to put it in the center, right underneath the mouth. So now that we have that in, hopefully I was able to help you with that. We're going to come right across about right here. And we're going to draw a straight line across. There, okay, so then now we can go ahead. We're gonna come in, we're gonna straighten out a little bit, the rest of his body, and then about right there, I'll start to curve. And curve. And bring it down. So Bob's not too tall, so we're just gonna end it about right there and connect at the bottom. There. 
Now for some details for his overall. So let's come right here. Just imagine this being covered by the hand. We're going to come right here and draw a curve that comes in. Same thing over here. So about right here. Comes in. And then another detail would be about right here. We're just going to draw a soft curve. And another soft curve that goes across. And then we have a little pocket. So say about right here. I'm just going to draw a straight line across. And pop it out about right here. And here. Got a little pocket on our overalls and I'll just take that opportunity now that I'm here I'll draw a heart right here to make it my dressy cute bob right from minions and to now to draw the legs so nicely in the center once again but right here I'm going to come to the sides on both sides we draw two little angle lines but right here another angle and we're just going to go ahead and connect it with a curve so same thing here short little legs and then the feet. So we're going to have them come towards the center. So curve down. And tiny little feet. And then just go ahead and connect. Oops. Sticking it up a little bit. So same thing here. Just curve in. A little bit line. And then we're just going to curve and connect. There. This down a little bit more. Okay, so we have Bob's feet in, and I think that is pretty much it. So once you color this area right here, and he has two different color eyes, it will come out. It will start to um, look a little bit better and not so messy. But I really hope I helped you draw Bob here with his puppy dog eyes of uh, fun and easy today. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.